Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, your food and snacks so we can eat today. Y'all going to be surprised what we are eating tonight. All right, y'all. We're not going to toast right now because we have to say prayers, okay? Bow your heads. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you so much for awesome blessings seen and unseen. New mercies today and your grace is sufficient. We can't complain about anything, Lord. Oh God, I just want to say thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen, y'all. Oh yes, yes, yes. All right. Have a good evening. Whatever you do, have fun. So salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers, sisters. That's a little weak. Y'all, y'all have heard me say so many times, we got to do this time. I don't eat steak, but maybe once a year. And look what we have. We got a T-bone steak. Look at that, y'all. Yes, look at that. Air fry, that is. We have um, baked potato with just salt, pepper, and butter. That's all I wanted. I didn't want all the cheese. But I made a salad as well, y'all, uh, with some peanut Thai dressing on top of it. So... On the side, y'all, we have some Texas whiskey glaze. I'm going to put this on my steak. And uh, we have, this is the first time I bought Crystal. Crystal's is, Crystal is uh, visiting us. I don't know what it tastes like, y'all. But we're going to taste it. Together. Are y'all happy? Because I am. This is some good stuff. When Y'all remember I did this uh, with something I ate and out of the cabinet wasn't good, but honey, out of the refrigerator, it is bomb. So I want to, I got a lot of juice in here, y'all, because uh, when I let it rest, I put a little butter on top of it. Oh, I think I need, I'll be back. I don't want to put anything in that bowl because all those juices are there. So, uh, I'll put some in this bowl. Y'all, and this is thick too. Look at that. All right. It really is good though. Yeah, I would definitely keep this in my pantry. Y'all, where we gonna put that? Right there? Alright. Y'all, let's dig in. I'm hungry. Well, let's stir this potato. I wanna, I wanna, uh, ooh, this potato hot too. I wanna taste that steak, y'all. But I have been looking, uh, at some people eating them steaks, and I'm thinking like, do I really really want the steak and i do i probably need some more butter y'all that's a thick potato mm. oh that's good let's try this steak the, the the meat market guy told me that the side over here is the tender side and he said it has some good marbling i hope i didn't cook this uh i don't oh yeah got pink in it Oh, well, uh, it's kind of, damn, a little old cook. Ain't too much pink in there, y'all. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, it's good. Oh, it's good with that, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit overcooked for me, but it's good. 
this season so well. Mmm. 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 Canada. Oh. That's a piece of good steak. Mm-hmm. Let's try this. Mm. That peanut thigh sauce. Mm. Oh. It has like the chili mix in it. So it have a little spice. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. It is so refreshing. That's a good salad. My goodness. So far, two for two. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. It's pink, y'all, but it's not the pink I like. But it sure is good. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. I seasoned that steak for like five hours. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Good. That's hot. Mmm. A simple baked potato with salt, pepper, and butter is enough. Mmm. -hmm. I know I'm not going to eat this whole steak, y'all. But I'm trying. Hmm. How y'all doing today? Thank y'all for coming in. Y'all see I got my natural hair. I got two pom-pom bows. I'm giving my hair a break because I noticed that right here, y'all probably don't see it. And I don't want to put my, my hand in my hair. I got a bow spot. So, I bought some um, organic hair growth and massage it in, in that spot. I don't know if my hair is thinning because I'm getting older. Or I don't know. It's because uh all the crochet I do all the time. But I but I but I cornrow my hair. Sometimes I use the rubber band, but I don't use the rubber band as much as I cornrow and do the crochet. So I wanna figure out what is taking my hair out. So for right now, I'ma have a whole pom pom ball, two pom pom balls. Honey, I'ma get in that wig box. Okay? I got some ponytail too though, y'all. But I don't wanna pull my hair. Oh, this potato is good, y'all. Oh, huh. Mmm, that was hot. That is so good. I have a question. And give me your honest answer, right? Oh, but before we do this question, don't forget, live matchmaking coming back April the 30th, 8 to 9 Central Standard Time. Don't forget. Put it on your calendar. And don't forget to tell your friends. To tell a friend, to tell a friend. Okay? Alrighty then. Mm-hmm. But I have a question. When you're married, married, do you think for all your sexy wear, booty out, titties out, that you can go out in the street without your husband dressed like that? Do you believe that once you're married, 
sometimes you just gotta change a little of your dress code. Mm-hmm. Cause I look at these people on Facebook. That sounds bomb. That red onion was like a little spicy though. I look at people on Facebook. These are kind of young people, but still married. I look at their dressing and I'm thinking like, you don't have no clothes on and your husband is not with you. And I'm looking at all these men looking at you and you got your little children with you. What you doing? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That's unacceptable. I, 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 I think I'm just a little old school. When you're kicking it, when you're dating, do what you do. But when you get married, Some things have changed. Now, with you, when you with your husband, if he like it, okay, but he with you. Mm hmm. I don't know. Mm hmm. Sometimes you just got to dress modest to, to have respect for yourself. I have to say it again, y'all. This spread is the bomb. I am not disappointed at all. This is good. Mm. I'm glad I did the steak. Mm-hmm. Oh, that feel like some gristle down now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yep, that's gristle, y'all. We're going to leave that one alone. Oh, yeah. Now, this piece over here... It look, yeah, that's a lot of gristle right there. I know I'm not about that gristle. Mm-hmm. 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 Look, this is gristle, y'all. On this nice piece of meat. Look here. Come on on this side. I'm going to tackle your ass. It's a thick piece of meat, too, y'all. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, y'all. And this whiskey glaze is perfect. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good. Y'all, I'm just so happy. Oh. Tell me, I'm going to tell y'all something. Mm. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, a relationship with someone in 2017. 
But back then, I did not want to be in a committed relationship. I did not want to be in a committed relationship. I didn't. But we had some relations. <laughs> it's pretty good. And then I moved away for a year. But he never went away. I just didn't entertain him. Because I knew I just wanted his sex. That's how. The scholar thing a thing. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. And from then to now, every month or every two months, he's going to reach out to me. Period. This is 2022. Okay. That salad is good. Honey. Sometimes I entertain him. Sometimes I don't. But today. We talked. For the first time. For four years. The conversation was a little different. Mm, that's a good one. Mm-mm. 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 The conversation was different. We did say the L word. But it's only that, this is how I said to him. Don't misconstrue what, when somebody say, I love you. Because sometimes you just love people for who they are. It's not about being in love with nobody or anything like that. But how he said it, he meant it. I mean it. Because... We had some good relations. And he was a cool dude. You know, every time he saw me, he made sure he fell in my arms. And one time I came from Frisco and I went to a place uh, for a Zydeco dance. And uh, I didn't know he was going to be the DJ at that time, the person working there. And I'll never forget I was leaving. And uh, that was in like 2019. And he saw me and he grabbed me and he held me in a way that he never held me before and said, you know, you belong to me. <laughs> I ain't saying that. You let me go. That was the end of it. So I moved back from Frisco. In 2019, 2021, 2022. Because I've been here for three years. I've been back for three years. And he had gotten into another relationship. But he was still reaching out to me. And still until today. So. We did say a few things. That we liked about each other. In that moment. The kisses and the sex. <laughs> but. Um, yeah he want to see me. So, he haven't seen me since I got back. So, I told him, let me think about it. Maybe I can cook a dinner or something, invite him to dinner or something. I don't know. But I told him I would do that. Excuse me. And he said he, you know, he loved my cooking. Because he did eat my cooking back then. 
Mm-hmm. Now, this is a T-bone steak. Why I got gristle in the it? I'm getting a little mad now. Well, this tray wasn't, this, uh, the steak wasn't cheap. Next time, I guess I will get the rib out, huh? But it's good. So, anyway. So, we'll see. See over here, that's a pretty, that's a pretty pink, y'all. We'll see what goes. I don't know if he, you know, all the stuff I post on Facebook about my live matchmaking. I don't know if he alarmed that that's a possibility. <laughs> Possibilities. It's okay with me. So we talked about marriage. He asked me how I felt about it. Well, y'all know my answer. We about to we about to lose time, y'all. I pray to God for a healthy, loving marriage because this is my third year of celibacy, and I want to, you know, if I'm gonna do sex, he says it's better to, to be married than to fornicate. That's what the words say. So when he said that, I say, well. I pray that God bless me with a marriage, I say, but in my own selfish ways, I can take it or leave it. <laughs> he ain't say nothing. All I know, he's never stopped thinking about me. Ever. And I think he meant what he said four years ago. Mm. I finally decided to give him some attention. Today. Well. That's good. Started yesterday, actually. He just reaches out. And I'm thinking like, wow. Okay. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Things happen for a reason, though. You know, I, I told me and Betty that I was talking, and I said, what if? <laughs> what if the man that I've been praying for is him? Because he, he never gone away. He has never, ever gone away, y'all. He, he never lose contact with me. Ever. He, he has never lost contact with me. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So call me now. Mm-hmm. Hey, loud. Okay, I'm getting to do our commercial. That was you and Pooh right there. Uh-huh. Let me call you back because I'm trying to end my video. I'm going to call you right back. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to call you right back. Okay, bye-bye. And I just mentioned you, too, on my video. Oh, okay. We were talking about you know who, right? Okay. All right, so we're going to continue. We're going to follow up because I know you calling me about that. I'll holler back. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to call you right back. <laughs> Bye. Because <laughs> Ben Lau has been in it from the beginning to now as well. And if you ask her, she always say, he consistent with you. He ain't going nowhere. And he didn't. He, he, he ain't going nowhere. So I don't know how to how to think about it. I just say, for whatever reason that we really talked today after four years, God let it be you. I don't want it to be me, cause you know, three years of celibacy. You know, sometimes your flesh is weak. Cheers to that. 
are not. <laughs> you know. But one thing about it, y'all, I just can't give my body to anybody. I'll be celibate for another how many years I am. That's not the first time either. Because my body is precious to me, you know. Do I want to have a relationship? I do. Do I want to make some good, fantastic, sweet, uh, nasty, loving? I do. But only with the right person. Everybody can't handle what you give them. You know, that's good loving, that is. He said that too. <laughs> he said, you think about that too. I know you do. Because I thought about that, that too. Because we did share some good times. We did. We really did. So we don't know. I don't know. But y'all ready to sing? Come on, y'all. Y'all heard enough. So look here. Let's do it, y'all. This food was good. I wish I did not. I, I think I should have took my steak out five minutes. Just five minutes before. It has a little pink, but it's not the pink that I like. But it is seasoned good, and it is good. It has some tough parts, and it has some, a lot of gristle. I can't say tough pasta, that's that gristle in there. But I'm definitely gonna finish it. I'm not gonna throw this expensive steak away. I would do this again, maybe at the end of the year. The steak that is, not the moon mom. <laughs> Let's sing my beautiful hostess. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do, Y'all already know the spiel. Uh-huh. Do y'all want me to do it? Whatever you do, do it good. Do it with purpose and do it with what? Genia, wine, love. I love y'all. Please have fun tonight. Okay? Cheers.